Hello and welcome to another Archie's video and to a new week of daily races. This is daily race A, almost a race A classic. We are at Tsukuba in the MX-5 Roadster, a combo we've seen a lot of times both on Gran Turismo 7 and on Gran Turismo Sport. We are doing the two first morning races Monday morning and uh, it contains a bit of everything amongst others a driver who was determined to win at any cost but more on that later let's get straight into the first race so we are starting from the back in this one we've got chicken angel on pole position he set a really nice qualifying lap for this one and let's see what we can do from the back i'm in the lightning mcqueen livery i'm sure that will help me to get some extra horsepower let's get into turn one take it nice and easy I'm going for the inside line, but I'm braking early so I don't crash into anyone. Ghost Rider gets a bit too much on the grass and goes a bit sideways. There's a bit of contact, but I find a bit of space for me and I sneak through the middle. And uh, now we're coming into the first left hand hairpin and uh, I've got a car on my inside coming in a bit too hot, but he is doing his best to make the corner so all is good. And we just tuck in behind him. Let's get around the right hander where you just have to lift off slightly to get around that one. And uh, yeah, I had a bit more speed than him, but I just ended up uh, in his back bumper instead. Let's get around this one. He runs a bit wide, so I managed to get alongside a little bit. Can I do anything about this? No, I'm afraid I'm a bit too far back, so I just have to stay behind for now and see what I can do later on. Let's see the final corner. He is running a bit wide so maybe if I can keep a tight line I might sneak up inside. Yep, we got that one and uh, coming into turn one there was a bit of a glitch there. It seems to be a problem this morning. The servers are glitching quite a bit. We make it around this one and uh, we've got a car on the grass and uh, watching in my mirror I saw even though I was aiming for the inside line he was basically aiming for the grass and uh, that was just not going to work I'm not sure if he thought he had a right to do that he was honking a bit and uh, flashing his lights I don't know if that was anything to do with me but we carry on I am catching up to these guys you can see it's still glitching a bit and uh, as we come around this corner, you can see we've got the first strange uh, server glitch this morning. Um, I thought it was my internet, but it seems to be a general problem, apparently. But we carry on. We are behind the Swiss driver now, coming down the back straight. Let's see if we can not make too much <laughs> of a mess of this corner. Get a bit too sideways. You almost don't have to brake for that one but you have to lift and you have to get down a gear it's a bit fiddly and I haven't figured that one out just yet and uh, we've got another small stutter here but we're jumping ahead in the race and we are at the start of lap 4 and I accidentally go into the back of the Swiss driver so I just have to back off and I also have to get away from the racing line so I don't cause another crash and that cost me a position but it was my fault, so I just had to back out of that one. So we are down to P6. This is slowly but surely turning into a warm-up race as I try to relearn this car. It's not that we haven't done it before, but always takes some time to get back into it. Trying around the outside, but I wasn't trusting that one to work. And we are jumping ahead, just about to start the final lap. and. Uh, as we come around turn one, I think I managed to sneak around the outside of this one. Yep, we actually got this. Let's see if I can make it into the hairpin, but I am afraid I overcook it. So I basically don't make the corner and I just have to back out because that was a clumsy move by me. So uh, I lost another position down to P7, definitely a warm up race and we are jumping to the end of this race and as soon as i get out of this lobby i'm jumping back in to see if i can set a decent qualifying lap for the second and final race for this video we are in qualifying 
now and uh, as soon as the solid part of the fence starts on the left, I am braking and uh, just keeping it nice and tight, trying to straighten out the car so I can get early on the power, uh, using the tarmac strip on the right as a braking point for this one, braking just as that starts, making sure to get into the inside of this corner, there is some camber you can use, and uh, just a lift, but not lifting entirely, you just need a bit of power on still, so you can get a nice exit out of that one. And uh, this is breaking around the 50 board, I think, and uh, once again, trying to straighten out the car so I can get on maximum power. If you're turning too much while getting on the power, this car just gets slow and you just have to get the most out of its limited horsepower. Coming into the final corner, looking out for the 50 board, mostly lifting, downshifting and just letting the car coast try to sort itself out around this corner aiming for a late apex and uh, getting across the line 1 minute 10, 020, almost into the 109s and we are ready for the second race. I'm starting on pole position in this one, I've got Chicken Angel behind me and we could be up for a good race in this one, but uh, someone had other plans as we come into turn 1. I'm trying to make it around the outside, but someone just sends it on Chicken Angel and bumps into both of us and uh, just barges his way through. Let's have a look at that one. So you can see he's just aiming for the back of Chicken Angel's car. A nice push into him and uh, just carrying on. And as we come into the hairpin, you can see he just sends it up the inside on Chicken Angel and uh, shoves him out of the way and uh, takes the lead. So that was a bit of an annoying start of the race, but I just have to focus on the car on my inside just now, making room for him. And uh, yeah, he got the best exit out of that one. Now I have to pay attention to Barbie on my inside now. Whoops, almost went into the back of the German, so I had to back out. And now I've got another car on my inside. I'm basically falling a bit backwards, but I managed to get a decent exit out of this one and we're jumping ahead to the start of lap two. The cars in front of me are fighting a bit so maybe I can uh, gain something from that. We're coming around to turn one and uh, sure enough I get a decent exit out of this one and I managed to sneak ahead of the German driver. I think he is basically backing out of this one now. I'm just aiming for the inside and Let's get around the hairpin and get on the power following Barbie and we're jumping ahead once again. And we are still behind Barbie and you can see P1 is under pressure. He might have sent it on all of us on lap one, but if you don't have the pace to carry on for the rest of the race, you might be in trouble and you can see he's really under pressure. He's all over the green stuff on the inside to make sure he keeps his position and Chicken Angel is sure giving him a fight for his money. I am on the outside of the Barbie car now, backing out of that one just to make sure. So we just tuck in behind and uh, wait for another opportunity. I also got some cars behind me so I have to make sure I don't mess up too much and get too eager but I would really like to be a part of that battle up ahead. And uh, this time unfortunately I miss completely uh, turn one here, I'm running too wide, so I've got a car on my inside, but I think I managed to just hang on to this one. We are still on the inside, leaving room on the outside, and uh, coming into the hairpin, we are still alive. He's still on my outside, and oh, I got a bit of a slide on. Maybe that was a bit of a squeeze from me, but it wasn't intentional. Sorry about that one. And we are behind Chicken Angel now, who has also had a, some few issues. And uh, let's see if we can have a nice battle with him for the final part of the race. Almost going side by side, but he still gets a better exit. He's got some nice pace on this uh, combo as well. So we just tuck in behind and uh, make it down the straight. Let's see if we can sneak around this corner without going too much sideways. Actually, I end up following Chicken Angel off the track. That was a bit of a blunder 
from uh, me that one so i've got a car on my inside and i think yeah that was a lost position there we just carry on he gets a two for one sale the german driver and we are jumping ahead in this one we are about to start lap seven i actually managed to get the fastest lap but we are still in the same positions as earlier and you can see our italian friend in front he is under pressure from the belgian barbie car at the moment and he is doing his best to hang on to it but he is really uh, in a bit of trouble at this part of the race we just carry on chicken angel going for a nice slide there probably accidental but uh, we just carry on i'm just trying my best to see if i can get a good run on him maybe on the back straight as we come around this right hander and uh, yeah chicken angel is a bit wide maybe he was afraid i was going for it so now we are side by side but he's still got a better exit um, so i just have to tuck in behind we are jumping to the final lap now the belgian driver has taken the lead and it's pretty easy to guess what is going to happen in a moment as we come into the hairpin let's have a look I am pretty sure the Italian driver is going for it into the hairpin and uh, there's a bit of contact so the Belgian Barbie car is shoved a bit wide and uh, we are just following along you can see all that fighting has been slowing everyone down so we are a nice train coming around the final lap and uh, let's see what's happening there's also a bit of contact maybe a late defense move and here we've got a massive glitch coming up i thought we were about to disconnect and uh, suddenly they were all ahead of me and now we've got the italian driver he's ghosted he was probably inside someone and now you can see he's just going for the extreme inside just pushes chicken angel out of the way runs a bit wide himself the german driver spins off without anyone touching him and uh, we end up with a podium position in this one. Yeah, this race is a fun one. It can also be a very dirty one. Let's see how it develops through the week. But uh, that's all from me for now. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.